All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another uh, Walking Dead video, doing a character spotlight on Daryl. Uh, so I did character spotlights on Glenn, on Rick, and on Shane, and for every single one of them, as well as other characters from other shows, uh, Breaking Bad, and other, not a few others too. Uh, and for all of the Walking Dead characters I mentioned in the comic books, uh, their comic book counterpart, and then how they differ from the television series, well. Uh, this one will be a little bit quicker because there actually is no comic book version of Daryl. Um, yeah, he, it's hard to believe. Um, he actually was created just for the television series, did not and has not ever existed in the Walking Dead comic book series, which is is strange. I mean, a lot of people, when they if their first experience is with the Walking Dead television series, when they're watching it and all that, and then they try to go read the comic book, they're like, where's Daryl? He's missing, you know? Um, where is he? Because he just fits like a glove. He fits in that world just perfectly. It seems like that kind of world suits him more than the real world actually probably would. Uh, and it's kind of weird for people to imagine The Walking Dead storyline without Daryl in there. And actually, now that I've watched uh, both, it's kind of, uh, I got to say, one huge advantage that the television series has over the comic book is that they have Daryl Dixon as a character, Norman Reedus, as well as Merle, too. I mean, I'm really excited for next season. I can't wait to see Merle make his return. Um, I think that'll be just great to see uh, him and how Daryl interacts with Merle. And, uh, you know, this spotlight won't exactly be complete because it won't have the details of season three and how, you know, Daryl interacts with Merle and what happens with that and who uh, Daryl chooses, you know, staying with because I imagine the choice is going to come up if he can go back with his brother again or if he's going to stay with this group that he's bonded so closely to. And, uh, you know, I honestly don't know where Daryl's going to go, you know, which one's more important to him. He he said throughout the show and kind of alluded to the fact that Merle's kind of a scumbag anyway, <laughs> uh, but he's still his brother, uh, you know, overall, his older brother too. Um, so that being said, he knows, uh, you know, obviously that Merle is, uh, he doesn't look up to him in that light. You know, uh, like a lot of younger brothers do, just look up to their older brother like they're, you know, everything to them. Uh, he actually recognizes and realizes everything that's wrong with Merle, it seems like. So we'll see what happens. We'll see which uh, route he goes. I'm expecting him to go down to, uh, you know, this kind of route where he, it seems like he's going to join Merle, but then he switches back and he goes with, with Rick's group. Because I'm sure the choice will come, to, it'll come down to it. Either that or somebody will kill Merle first or something like that will happen. But either way, uh, it should be really exciting to see next season. And uh, definitely will affect a lot of how we look at Daryl as a character. Uh, because up until this point, basically, what can we say about Daryl? That he is the group's uh, resident badass uh, up to this point. I mean, now Michonne's coming in. So she's also a badass, but if you guys have seen my video comparing uh, Michonne versus Daryl and who's a bigger badass, you'll know, uh, if you've seen it, that I think Daryl is a bigger badass. I mean, the amount of badassery he has committed so far throughout the television series uh, would have him thrown in badass prison. Uh, you know, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, the first time we meet the guy, he's swinging a knife at Rick, and then Shane and Rick are able to take him down and subdue him, you know, with the whole... You you tie my brother to a roof, and you left him there? And then he starts, you know, swinging at both. And then they, they end up taking him down. So uh, afterwards, of course, uh, in season one, he's got lots of great lines, great scenes uh, coming through with his uh, crossbow, you know, teaching other people. Come on, guys. It's got to be the head. You know that. Coming back with squirrels, like, you know, tied around his neck like he just went hunting the whole day. And he's coming back with dinner. He's got, like, 20 squirrels or 10 squirrels all down his thing or whatever in his bag and everything. Um, you know, shooting walkers in the head with crossbows or with his crossbow. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, his knife. Stabbing them. Very cool. Um, probably one of the biggest that uh, pops in my mind right away is the season two premiere where they're on the highway uh, and all the walkers are coming and uh, T-Dog is almost effed. Cuts himself everything. He's pretty much a goner. Daryl comes up, saves him, and uh, kills the walker and then lays down underneath it. You know, it's like, who would even think about that? He's He really is. I've compared him before to like Wolverine from Marvel Comics. Daryl is the Wolverine of The Walking Dead. Think about that. You got him, you know, he's, he's he's the biggest badass ever. He gets shot in the head close by Andrea, and the next day he's healed, and he's back up walking around, enhanced healing factor. Uh, you got him 
uh, tracking people. You know, he's looking for Sophia. He's looking at the prints and everything and all of that. He's got, you know, Shane's got this scheme and he's got it all mapped out. And right away he knows he's like, uh-uh, this happened and that happened. And, you know, and, and he's, just, he's just, he's the walking, he's the walking dead's Wolverine. He really is. Uh, also, too, in the deleted scenes, I like where he knows right away, like where he talks to Andrew, he tells her observant. You guys have seen that deleted scene. If you haven't, look through my channel, find it, and then follow the link, and you'll you'll see it. I think it's deleted scene number two from the uh, the DVD. I haven't seen the rest of them yet. I, got, I still got to pick up the uh, the DVD for season two, which I will eventually, but I just uh, haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, and you know, he, he knows right away that you know just by looking at the scene, he sees that these people were all you know shot in the head, execu executioner style. It wasn't really overrun by walkers. He's just uh, you know he's he's really street smart in that way, or I guess. Uh, Walker smart uh, or zombie apocalypse smart, I guess, <laughs> uh, as well as you know many other things that he's done throughout the series. So why is he so popular? Why is he? He's pretty much like most people's favorite character from the series. He really is. Um, I mean, most people, I think, I think almost everybody would agree that um, you know Daryl probably is one of the coolest characters on the show. For a lot of people, he's their favorite character. Um, you know, in the Walking Dead period, maybe show or comic book, they think he's he's the most exciting character, best character. I hope he lives for a really long time. Uh, I did a video talking a while ago about how I think that they should never really kill Daryl off, and I still stick to that. I mean, season three, there's been a lot of speculation. There was a clip from the trailer that you guys have seen in my channel, uh, kind of analyzing whether or not it was Daryl's a walker. And at first, I was like, Nah, that's not him. And then I went back and I was like, Man, but it looks so close to him because the eyes and stuff. But then. After I started looking at a lot of pictures of some other walkers and stuff like that, and a lot of them have like under eye makeup too. So then I'm kind of back on this side. I'm kind of like, ah, oh, no, maybe it's not him, but I don't know. Um, either way, I hope he lives through season three. Obviously, there's going to be some big character deaths in season three. I think we can pretty much assume that T Dog is probably going to bite it. Uh, you know, a couple other characters too. Carol's, you know, going to bite it probably. Um, but I, I really hope Daryl survives because I think that, um, you know, regardless of what happens with Merle or anything like that, he is one of the most exciting and interesting characters on the show. He's one of the best survivors. He's funny, cracks jokes, you know, uh, gives people nicknames, stuff like that. Um, and he's just a great character to have around. He also, you know, he's got some of the best zombie kills on the show, period. I mean, like the one where they're inside the little uh, steeple there in Season 2, Episode 1, and he whistles at the zombie before he kills it. I mean, he's just got so many cool scenes in the series and he's such a cool character i can understand why everybody would uh, would love him what i can't understand is why robert kirkman has not put him in the comic book series yet because uh he's just a perfect fit uh anyway uh i hope he doesn't die in season three season four you know i hope he's around for the long run and and if they want like if norman Reedus wants to take a break or something have him leave the group i mean he's a he's probably your perfect character at at you know to to leave like it's so natural for him to just be like ah screw this i'm out of here and just leave you know uh and then have him come back later you know so, kind of the same type of thing as merle maybe have a season with him not in it then have him come back so what regardless of whether or not norman reese wants to be on the show or not i still don't think they should ever probably kill daryl in the television series and he is probably one of the coolest characters on the show um you know most people's probably favorite character probably a fan favorite uh, I'd say. I mean, even so much so that they're going to make the video game about him, which I'm really excited to see, too, because you get to play as him and I think Merle, too. They'll both be involved in there, and it'll elaborate on their story quite a bit, which will be a lot of fun as well. Um, also, a lot of people, so well, some people, I shouldn't say a lot of people, some, I think it's I, I think it's chicks, honestly. <laughs> some chicks come in, and they want to talk about, you know, like, oh, do you think Daryl's going to get together with Carol next season, or what's going to happen between these? You know, and I'm just like, you know, I don't know. I mean, Maybe I could see that um, him and Andrea. I don't think so. Even though Andrea seems to not really care. I mean, you got her in the comic books now. Oh, I don't want to spoil anything. I scratch that. Not everybody's read the comic books. Um, but uh, you know, another train of thought here. Uh, I can see him getting together with Carol. I mean, that it makes sense. You know, I, I guess it does make sense. Um, I don't like talking about romantic topics and how that's going to go and whatever. And who else? Who? What other love interest could be there for him? Nobody really, unless he runs into somebody new. I don't think him and Andrew. They just don't. They just don't click. 
properly. So anyway, uh, definitely one of the coolest characters in all The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the character. And uh, also, hopefully, they don't kill him off next year. I would be so mad. And I know a lot of people would be really mad if they killed him off. Anyway, uh, let's talk about Daryl in the comments, guys. Anything else you want to say about him? Uh, any predictions for next season and what you think is going to happen with him and Merle? Uh, any predictions with him and Carol? Uh, any predictions with, um, you know, when eventually, because I think eventually, maybe, all the characters in, this, in, the, in the series will die. But I think out of all of them, Daryl should be one of the ones that are there till the end. I hope they don't feel like he's unnecessary now because of Michonne. Because Michonne's so badass, maybe they don't need Daryl anymore. I think that would be a mistake. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one later. Peace.